This, to me, represented the NFL getting its swagger back. This was the NFL on the national stage, Monday Night Football, with a huge audience watching, basically saying to fans, we were wrong for the way that we responded over the past couple of years, and also it was ESPN doing the same. I've been very critical of ESPN. I have to give a lot of praise to Jimmy Pitaro. I think ESPN, under the leadership of Jimmy Pitaro, and I think Bob Iger, to a certain extent, has finally recognized it too, they have realized that the NFL is in the job of putting on the best possible display of entertaining content. And all that should matter during that content, by and large, is the game itself and certain peripheral, non-political, okay? I don't think saying you support the fire department is political. Some of you out there could be like, the fire department's intensely political. I don't agree, okay? I think the average firefighter doesn't care what's burning. He runs to the fire. I feel the same way about the average police officer. I don't think they care about, uh, about politics when they're in the middle of trying to save lives. To me, that is thoroughly nonpartisan. And so, as a result, I think the NFL has got its swagger back. I think it's got its groove back. CBS, NBC, Fox, and ESPN made a conscious decision not to cover protests anymore. There are still players protesting. They are being ignored. Because by and large, the media has decided, you know what? This is killing our business. Last year, the leagues lost $600 million off their projected revenue. This year, I think they had a meeting of the minds. They all got together and they said, we're not going to cover sports as a political issue anymore. And so as a result, I think that they have made a conscious decision to avoid that going forward.